In the previous video, I had fun driving around the desert of Ica and spent the night there in complete serenity. The next day I got to Lima to pick up my new car and camper. A dream come true. My friend Felipe and his team were putting the finishing touches on it, but everything ended up taking longer than expected. After a few days in Lima, I was finally on the road again, in a rush to get back to my girls before another lockdown would be imposed. I almost lost my new car on an unexpected crumbling road and spent the night in the middle of nowhere. Very nice. I don't know if it was worth almost destroying the car for it, but good. All right, I gotta pack up and get out of here. I wanna take a look at the part of the road where I slid into that uh, crevice. This is the place where I got stuck yesterday. It doesn't seem like anybody comes here. So I'd be stuck for a very long time. It's kind of deceiving because, well, it looks like a normal road and then this, it just kind of collapsed there and it all became very soft. So this is where I really struggled to get out. I have to somehow think of a way not to mess it up this time. I think I'm gonna go more towards the left. Looking at this road now, it might seem like I was exaggerating my little mishap. But with off-road driving, as with many things in life, the danger often comes when you relax and least expect it. I did it. It wasn't very hard in daylight but when I didn't see that little crumbling part of the road and got stuck in it it was very hard to get out of it at night everything is different at night uh, I don't have much time left curfew begins at 9 p.m. and my drive is about 12 13 hours it's already 7 a.m. so I've just got to gun it to get to Yanawara and my girls on time desert and I really missed it maybe it has to do with the fact that I was in Lima slightly longer than expected and in that dust traffic smoke pollution uh, it's it's uh, emotional in a good way to to be up here amidst all the greenery almost no traffic uh, so so good The fact that I'm going back now with this new car and camper gives me a tremendous sense of satisfaction. There were times during the pandemic when it was hard to get motivated for anything. So that's why I decided that I would work towards going after something that I dreamt about for years. There's no feeling quite like achieving something that you dreamt about, even if it isn't something huge. Though for me, this is huge. This is going to enable me to continue doing what I love. I'll be able to keep traveling and very importantly, I'll be able to keep doing it with my family. Quick interjection, 
If you've been watching this from the beginning, then you already know there's a huge special on two of my video courses, the one on travel photography and the one on photo processing, along with the presets. Don't pay $250 as you would if you bought them separately. Get the package, get the two of them for just $69.97. Thankfully, the situation all around the world is improving and more and more of us are finally traveling. I think that makes for a great opportunity to grab this special offer right now. Uh, of course, by doing so, you would be helping me out a lot. I could stay on the road and keep creating content ultimately for you. That's about all that I wanted to say in this little interjection. Back to the main video now. After 14 hours of driving, I don't know if it's my camera screen that's blurry or if it's my eyes. I just came off of a shortcut rural road which Google Maps recommended me. It was pretty bad driving. I mean, the other road that I was going to take was bad too, but maybe this one is a bit worse, so... Oh man, I am exhausted. I'm right of hit some sort of a road. Seems good enough and I'm like 23 kilometers away. The last few kilometers seem like an eternity. Finally, the dirt track that'll take me through the village of Yanawara towards the place that we've called home over the past few months. Almost there, but everything just feels longer and slower than usual. The last corner before I reach our house. Well, I've made it a little bit uh, later than 9 p.m., but nobody was checking. I've been picturing making this drive with a new car for a very long time. No more video for today. I'll update you tomorrow. Well, I didn't think it would take so long for me to pick up the camera again, but here I am almost two weeks later. On that night, the car didn't even fit through the gate because uh, I couldn't get the angle, the, the road to the house is too narrow. So a neighbor was kind enough to allow me to park in his area because the area is empty. Uh, we're packing up, organizing things, figuring out all the kinks. Yeah, everything takes so much longer than you expect, but we are getting there. Meanwhile, let me take you on a bit of a tour of what's gonna be my future house and working studio of sorts. So the new vehicle that I got is a Toyota Hilux, uh, by many considered one of the most reliable vehicles out there and it's very common in Peru and much of South America, so very practical for parts. I don't know how many of you are really interested in cars, so I won't go through too much, but here is a bumper that I got. Uh, something i think that's necessary to protect the car i've got these pretty massive bf goodrich tires made in the usa i found that when i got the ones made in colombia that they did get punctured whereas the us ones never did get punctured so happy with these keeping these and then this is the main thing that i had made these boxes and basically an extension of the car chassis to uh to be able to fit all the stuff that i've accumulated here's a heater that seems to work very well to keep me warm when i'm at high altitude and uh, i'm really excited about this this is a water pump so what you do is you connect a hose here and put it into any sort of water source a bucket a river whatever and then it'll come out of this hose right here the camper itself is an american-made 
four-wheel camper I was lucky enough to find one here in Peru because anything made in Peru I'm sorry is not that great uh, and yeah you see the, the roof lifts you might have seen in the video when I'm driving through the desert that that part was down so now it's actually lifted up and it becomes really comfortable inside I think that's about it for the outside here I am inside of course it's super messy but again we're organizing things little by little we're essentially trying to fit a whole house where we were living for the last five months into this camper and the car I don't know if we'll succeed but uh, <laughs> my wife is definitely gonna try so that's where we're all gonna sleep this thing pulls out and then it becomes I don't know like a king size queen size bed uh, I thought that maybe my daughter would sleep on this thing which unfolds but unfortunately it's not very comfortable we're gonna have to fix it if she if she's gonna sleep on this part right here as I said it is very messy uh, this is the kitchen area full with tools and all sorts of things uh, at the moment I'm not gonna go into too much detail right now I'll probably do a more in-depth uh, overview later but you get the idea that's the sink that's the stove there uh, I'm out of gas so I'm gonna have to find gas somewhere the fridge opens up like this nothing there at the moment all sorts of little drawers which are also kind of semi empty at the moment this is what I'm really excited about I have solar panels on the roof and to basically be able to have unlimited energy for video editing for photo editing that is very exciting news because before I was always running out of energy and now uh, I could be working on the computer and it doesn't even draw uh, enough power to actually deplete the, the battery so uh, I don't know it's a very geeky thing maybe but in a practical sense it just it just helps you do your thing so this is basically like the lounge I don't know editing area I'm gonna be editing on this table doing my work we can eat here as well me and my daughter usually likes to play on the bed so lucky for me I'm gonna have the table I hope most of the time now of course the space isn't very big but the idea is that we're only gonna be spending you know the nights here and doing the necessary stuff and we'll be spending most of the time out there in the nature with beautiful views being away from all the madness of the cities being closer to villages being closer to rural life which I've appreciated much more for the past few years so that's the idea that's the dream we're basically already there just have to finish up and hit the road that's all for this adventure stay tuned for more of my journeys in the near future